Hey guys, Steve here, how's everyone going? Well, I've got the camper set up and I thought I'll do a video while I've got it set up. I had to do a bit of um, work on the walls, um, get a few things sorted out, but we'll get that intro out of the road, eh? And then I'll show you what I'm gonna talk about. Cheers. Hey guys, like I was saying there before the intro, I've got another video today and I had to set my camper up because um, I had to do a bit of work on the wall so I thought this is a good opportunity to do another video because I had something turn up the other day and it's over here. Yeah, so I got this parcel the other day and it's from Kickass. Now, I better tell you how this all come about. So we were camping a uh, week or two ago and um, I did a bit of a video while we were away on the kick-ass solar panels. It was an update. Now, you might remember I did one, I talked about in that video about how I'd done one once before um, when I first got them, and that was a, quite a while ago. But uh, when I got home, I had an email. Um, I was checking all my emails, and there was an email from Australian Direct. And it was actually uh, from one of their um, promotional staff and they wanted to know whether I would be interested in promoting some kick-ass products. Now I don't normally do that but I had a good think about it because I was talking with my wife about it and we're, while we were away camping we were actually talking about I said to my wife because it was so cold when we were away that weekend and we'd camped a month before at um, Gamery Bush Camp you might have remembered that video and it was like minus three or something like that. And I think it was minus four when we were out at Galbraith. And we were actually talking about buying a 12 volt electric blanket. And um, when they asked me, would I be interested in promoting some products? I thought, well, this might be a good opportunity to get something that I need and something that someone else might find useful when they're camping. Because, you know, we all like, you know, certain things and and unless we actually see them we don't know how they work i'm one of those guys i like to you know touch feel you know use something before i buy it and um the best way to do it is test it out so i said yeah and i got online because there was a few things that i was thinking about buying and another one was um something that's in here as well so what i might do is just get in and show you what's in here and uh then we'll get into telling you all about it eh? so I've already opened this up and uh, we'll just get in here so what I've got in here what they sent me out was was a couple of the kick-ass um, LED power bank torch now that one there is a 2600 MAH and this one here is a 7800 MAH I'll tell you a bit more about those in a minute This here is a kick-ass 12 volt electric blanket. So that's another one. And last but very, certainly very not least is some kick-ass undies. Yep, kick-ass undies. So they actually sent me a couple of pairs of these, but I've only got one here because I'm wearing a pair. Now, we'll get into the whys and hows and all that now. And uh, tell you all about these. Yeah, so let's get into it. Now, before we get started, I'll before I get into it, I better just sort of elaborate on you know what what actually happened. So, like I was saying, I got an email, and um, the promotional um, lady that I was um, you know emailing backwards and forwards, she originally in the first email said that they'd sort of noticed my channel, and they they liked how I did my channel. They liked the way I was doing reviews. They'd seen my previous clip that I'd done on the uh, solar panels, and they really thought you know that I could you know help promote their products, but also give an honest opinion on what I thought about it. Because that's one of the things I said. I said if you send me something out, I'm gonna take a little bit of time to. Um, you know use it check it out and um, before I you know give an opinion because it'll be an honest opinion whether good bad or indifferent but I did say um, 
I have met Clayton before, the owner of the company, and uh, I sort of know his enthusiasm for his products, and I had been following him for years, you know, watching all these um, videos that he puts up, especially the early ones where he was showing all his 12 volt systems and how to build battery systems and, you know, DC to DC charges and all that sort of thing. And you could really see that he um, you know, had that real sort of zest for, you know, wanting to, you know, give information to people and be honest. And, um, and, that, and that's something that I try and do. So, um, these are the products that I decided that I would test out. They asked me what, what I would like to show people and these were the three, th well, two things anyway. The undies I didn't know about, so... <laughs> they must have thought I needed them. But um, as for the torches, when we were camping, um, one of the torches I did have um, broke and um, it was a battery operated torch. I was always putting batteries in it, I dropped it. Um, it just wouldn't turn on and I said to my wife, I said, those um, kick-ass torches, I'm pretty sure they're on special so I might um, order some of them. But this is how it's turned out, so th this is why I picked this item off them and they said, you know, they're quite happy to send me that out because it's something that, you know, they like promoting. And, and, and I had seen these torches before, it's not the first time I've come across them, I have used them, been camping with people that have been using them, so I know their capabilities, I know how good they are. Um, I, I have no qualms about buying them. Like I was saying, I like to touch, see, feel. You know, we all walk into camping stores and look around and uh, I don't really like buying things offline if I don't know the product. So that's why I, like I'm, I have no trouble saying that I think this is a good product. So I'll show you the small one first. So I have unpacked these. There's a little plastic bag that is around the torch. And the torch itself, you have this little... Um, lanyard that um, was wrapped up so you got a little kick-ass lanyard that goes on it. it's got a little one of those little uh, clips on the end there that you can pull down and in the bottom of the box here if I can get it out I might have to undo the other end there's a little uh, USB to USB-C charger so that's for charging this now to charge it you unscrew the end off here and in the end there you can see you got your USB socket now that USB socket is for charging other devices, so that's the bigger one, just there where the end of my finger is. Like I said, this is a 2600 uh, mAh, so depending on what battery you've got in your maybe a small mobile phone or something like that, if this was fully charged, you could plug that USB into there. Like that, and you can see the light comes on saying that the USB is connected and you could plug that into your phone. I could plug it into my GoPro which I'm using here now because it's all USB-C and I could charge that up. So same if my um, GoPro I was using it went flat, I could plug this into it, give it a little bit of a boost in power. So that's a great idea. And the other one there, the USB smaller one, that's for actually charging this up. So you just plug that in and then plug the other end into your whatever you're charging it off. Now that cap screws on, it's got a rubber seal in the end of it because these are waterproof. They do say it on it, but they are a waterproof light, so you don't have to worry about them if you've got them, you know, hanging up somewhere and there's a bit of dew, rain, something like that. The other good thing is they're easy to turn on and off. So you've got that light there, which is great for, you know, walking around. And this is why, basically, we're why we wanted this. So at night, we can um, you know, see what we're doing if we want to get up and go to the toilet because what, what we're going to do is when we're up in the camper the other good feature which I'm just about to show you is these have uh, two magnets on them now they're fairly strong so you can see there I can hang that up there um, we've got some little metal strips that are on the side of our camper up there so we'll be able to just stick them up inside the bed up there and then if you want to get out of bed go to the toilet you just press that and you've got that torch there or if you press it again, you get a white light. And now that's just on the dimmest mode. Press it again, it's a little bit brighter. Press it again, that's the third brightest. So you can sort of see there, it's lighting up inside the cupboard there. And that would be great for, you know, putting the magnets up there. You spin it around the other way 
and you got that directional light which would shine down if you want to cook or something like that so great in a car vehicle like if you can stick it on the back door of your car press it again goes amber so you got that amber light for bugs at night it's only one setting for that then you've got the red light the blue light and then the disco light so i'm not going to dance don't want to see that but um terrific little product i put them on charge when i got them the other day they took about an hour to charge up to full charge um i'll try and put some uh, specs in that on the screen up there somewhere just on you know battery all that sort of thing I amperage hopefully it'll have some uh how long the battery lasts all that sort of thing and um so they're a terrific light like i said i've used those before i was thinking about buying them um but they said you know just show them off show them off again tell us what you think i can highly recommend that one because i have had uh, you know been with people who have had these camped with them for you know weekends and weekends and i spoke i actually spoke to um phil demiano from um, phil's um camping equipment uh, you might have seen his youtube channel and he uses them all the time he's had his for a few years now and he's never mentioned to me he's had any trouble with them or anything like that they still seem to be working fine um he has the kick-ass 75 litre fridge he might have done you might have seen his video on that as well so great little torch the other one's just slightly bigger uh bigger battery like three or four times the the uh capacity um same lanyard and what i forgot to mention there before too on that other one which is something that i just read on their um website especially with the small one but see on the end there there's that little spike there that's actually for smashing a window so say you were in an accident you got this stuck down in the side door of your car something like that your window won't go down you can't open the door because the electronics are all out whack hit it with that it'll smash the window you know it might save your life so that's real good forward thinking so just a terrific idea there um, so this is exactly the same light does all the same things um, you got the torch on the end there it does all the flashing now you don't have to to get to the different lights you do have to cycle through them so the brighter the orange the red the blue and the disco you'd have to press it like five times to get to that one but you don't have to cycle right through to turn it off so say you turn that torch on you're using that you want to turn it off just hold the red button down and it goes out so that's the same with any of them so once you get to the light you want if once you're finished just hold the button down they'll turn off terrific light um, they'll be a great asset and the and the beauty of those now i haven't got batteries that i've got to worry about all i've got to do is plug it into my camper trailer into one of the usbs charge it up during the day while the sun's going and um you know you got uh, I, i'm really love all these usb rechargeable lights they're absolutely fantastic i mean you would just don't want to carry batteries around anymore gotta have a drink my mouth's getting dry Like I said, the 12 volt electric blanket. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail with this one because I wanna do this on a separate video because I really, like I said, I wanna test it before I tell you whether I think it's good, bad or indifferent. But just um, from looking at it in that perspective, um, it comes in this little plastic bag here. Um, it's nothing fantastic, um, it'll do the job. But you know, if you wanted to get another bag made for it or whatever, you could get a good quality uh, canvas bag or something, or you might be able to pick something up at a camping shop or something like that. But uh, crazy dog canvas, maybe try him. Um, so the blanket itself, it's it's very nice and soft. Like the the material in it feels really um, thick. It's got this sewn edge around it. Um, it actually feels really good like a dressing gown material now you can see the size of it there it's it's fairly big um, I don't know whether it says the size on there uh, it 
doesn't give you this, it's 100% polyester. Um, now it says it's a 12 volt heated blanket. Um, it gives you all the currents and that on here. I'll go into all that in a later video. I won't get into it now. Just basically want to show it to you. Um, it's probably a bit over oh, one and a half, 1800 maybe by about 900. So, and then you've got your um, reasonably long cord. Now it does come with a cigarette lighter socket on the end. Um, you could, I suppose, change that and um, put an Anderson, but I'm pretty sure there is a 8 amp fuse inside there. So you would m need to make sure you've got a fuse somewhere in here between that and your control box if you do that. Um, don't know why, but I'm pretty sure that that will suffice. Um, you got your little box which has got three settings so we'll get into all that later on but that's the electric blanket now the kick-ass undies um, they sent these out to me as a bit of a um, just see what you think sort of thing and luckily enough I'm one of those blokes who's got a job where I walk about 32,000 steps a day so I do that on average that's why I keep this wonderful physique I've got <laughs> but um, yeah like I've been sort of wearing these on and off for like the last 10 days you know washing them in between and uh, wearing them to work and uh, testing them out and they're they're lasting really good like and the thing I like about them they're a um, there they are there look at that now they've got the kick-ass name on the front and then down the bottom here you've got plenty of room to hold all your gear stop it moving around or whatever and you can see that and these are bamboo and you can see that part in here that is where normally you know i would get a lot of chafing chafing in between my legs there because i'm walking so much and uh, i haven't had that since i've been wearing because these are a long leg one you get them in a short or a long leg these are the long leg ones um small medium and large i'm pretty sure now th these are bloody fantastic i'm actually gonna i'm actually gonna buy another five pairs of these and so i got one for each day of the week and uh because unfortunately you know the old saying you could how many wears you can get you can wear them frontwards backwards inside out backwards and inside out forwards you can't deal with these because that pouch thing there will be facing the back and i don't think you want that so. <laughs> but they're they are actually really awesome undies like um they're really comfortable you don't really know you're wearing them like uh you could be sort of um think you're going commando or something but they do sort of you know feel comfortable to wear like i said you don't get that rubbing between your legs and it's a real breathable material like it's a real soft smooth material so I, i'm definitely buying some more of these um they are fantastic like us blokes um yeah you're really weird with you know yeah you, you, you get into a sort of habit with certain underwear that you like buying but uh I reckon those ones are the best ones I've had in a while. So, you know, thanks Kick-Ass for sending me those. There's not something that I probably would have actually thought about buying from a uh, camping supplier, electrical store as yourself. Yeah, so thanks Kick-Ass. Like I said, that's not something I probably would have really thought about buying um, from a company like yours, but um, you know, if you really do want a good pair of undies, these are the ones to get. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed, you know, me showing you this. Like I said, I'm going to talk about the electric blanket, um, in a further video. If you want to know anything, um, just leave me a comment. But, um, you know, thanks for uh, watching. Don't forget to, uh, you know, hit that like and, you know, that subscribe button. Um, it's been really great lately you know everyone's been supporting the channel um I'm, I, you know just thank you um it's been great i really appreciate it um i've got some new videos coming up i'm actually heading off tomorrow to brisbane um i'm getting a stainless steel exhaust system put on the fj um they reckon it'll give me eight to eleven percent more 
power and fuel economy and all that sort of thing so I'm really looking forward to uh, getting that done it's something I've been wanting to get done for ages um, been following the FJ forum for a while and everyone raves about this system it's from Bow Desert Exhaust so that one will be one coming up um, if you have any ideas or anything you want me to do um, for videos uh, let me know so you know thanks for watching um, thanks for subscribing I really appreciate it because you know with all this COVID stuff around it's uh, it's really uh, messing with uh, a lot of people's plans it's messed with mine we're heading off on holidays at the end of August sometime we were meant to be going down to New South Wales we we're going to do the Darling River run we we're going to visit my aunt who's 80 and my far uh, visit my father visit my sister who's 50 all that's been cancelled now um, we're still hoping we can do a bit of traveling through uh, Queensland uh, maybe head up north somewhere again maybe catch up with old Mr. Buckaroonie hey Buck and uh, so you know like I said before thanks for watching you know stay safe be kind to one another and we'll see you on the next one cheers You get that chafing in between your legs it's bloody horrible with this i haven't they're they're a real breathable material too so i haven't had that sweating like i normally do and i'm sold so i'm not going to do what dave did on the kick-ass clip i watched that clayton this is dave like all men dave hates chafing dave loves pies dave loves iced coffee to stop chafing, Dave needs to stop eating pies and drinking iced coffee. Or Dave needs to wear kick-ass anti-chafe undies. Kick-ass undies include a Lycra anti-chafe panel to eliminate chafing. Kick-ass undies are made from soft and stretchy bamboo. Kick-ass undies won't ride up when you move around. Kick-ass undies have a comfortable waistband that won't sag over time. Kick-ass anti-chafe undies.